Seven homers, 22 driven in this year. As he belts one in the air towards deep left, DJ Artis will watch this one fly into the Tiki Hut. It's a long home run for Isola. Make that eight home runs for him now in the campaign. One to nothing, Cedar Rapids. And for the second consecutive day, they have opened the game with a long home run in the first inning. As the kick in the fire from Nahas, runner moving, pitches outside, throw to second on the money. It bounces in, and they get him in time. Here's the 1-1. It's a fastball, hit up the middle, backhanded by Reynolds, the second baseman throws back home, tag applied by Washer on Camargo, and they get him. Gray plays well off the line, and here's a big bouncer towards the right side. It's backhanded by Isola, the throw to first will be close, safe there, Reynolds, run scores, that's Velasquez. We're tied at one in the second inning. One to one, Cedar Rapids in South Bend. The pitch on the way, here's a smash, up the middle, base hit. Washer RBI number nine as Ryan Reynolds scores. Two to one South Bend. No balls in a strike. He works only from the stretch. Third baseman Bird is in. And here's a ball driven in the air towards deep right field. Velasquez moves back. He's at the wall and we're tied again. Two solo home runs in the game for Cedar Rapids. They've got three total in the series. And Gabriel Masil, that's round tripper number two on the campaign, to a side. Deuce is wild, two strike pitch from Sullen Trump on the ground over to second. Reynolds is gonna have to hurry. Glove flipped to first and he got him. Next pitch to Velasquez. Breaking ball lifted in the air, high and deep out to center field. Kersey Jr. racing back on it. The center fielder has room, makes the catch on the track, but this is gonna tie up the ball game as DJ Artis touches the plate. Durham moves up 90 feet to third and it's now 3-3. Deep is part of the park though out there in left center. First pitch to Bird, ground ball right back up the middle for a base hit into center field. And the Cubs regain the lead, an RBI single from Bird. And they lead the Colonels now 4-3. to three. Infield drawn in, next pitch to Perlaza, a looping liner into shallow center field. Kersey Jr. is going to have plenty of room to make the catch. But tagging from third as the throw goes to third. Not in time, both base runners advance. Bird scores, Reynolds to third, and it's 5-3 South Bend. Yeah, they don't need Come to back see. for the eighth. <laughs> they don't need to see that. 2-1. <laughs> Squeaks past the catcher washer to the backstop. Easily scoring is going to be Julian. It's a run one. It's a one-run game. Dern awaits, and the pitch is lined down the left field line. That's a fair ball into the corner. Derna will hustle in the second. RBI double, Tyler Derna. It's 6-4 Cubs as Artis scores. The pitch on the way is a fastball that kicks away from Washer again. Camargo will jog home as it deflects into the third base side dugout. It's now six to five, advancing the second Hellman. Camargo scores and the deal. This is drilled left field towards the gap going after an artist. He's not gonna have a play. It rolls all the way to the wall. Big time hit, Alex Isola. It's a two-run double, and Cedar Rapids back out in front. It is seven to six. He's been on twice, has singled, and been hit by a pitch. Gray lifts one in the air, shallow center, coming in, Artis, he dives and makes the catch. DJ Artis, sure-handed as they come. Molina, the right-hander, ready. Derna scoops one in the air, shallow center. Will this be enough? Kersey under it. American will tag. The catch is made, the throw comes home, American dives in head first, he scores. Throw goes back to first where Artis slides in there safely. Tie game, 7-7, seven, seven. RBI sack fly, Tyler Derna. Derna holds him close at first base, the two strike pitch. This one's grounded back up the middle, could be two, Zinn to second to Reynolds, back across to Derna, 6-4-3, rack him up. How about a couple of scoreless innings from Stombaugh in his Cubs debut. And here it comes to Reynolds. He squares the bunt again, drops one down out in front of the home plate. And a miscommunication between the pitcher and the catcher. Now a snap throw to third base, and this should do it. It gets away from third, and Jake Slaughter will touch the plate. And a bizarre game has a bizarre finish as the fireworks go off, and South Bend walks it off 8-7. How do you do? That was awesome. Sometimes you need it to go your way, and South Bend, who had the battle back on multiple occasions tonight, they get it done. Slaughter, a guy that always hustles. How they draw it up, right?